Yeah, hundred percent. I think it's a it's a bit of sweet feeling. Um, but personally, I'm just feeling extremely proud of of each and every um, teammate of mine and, and management staff. I think you know we've done an incredible job to get to the final, and I think to put up a good fight against a team like Australia. Um, yeah, just I can just feel very very proud. You know, I think you always think about a World Cup final and how it will feel like. But I was pretty chilled um, throughout the day. I think I still watched a couple of movies this morning, but. Um, no, I think um, obviously through waves, um, through excitement levels, a bit of nerves here and there, um, and obviously thinking you know you have a chance while we were batting, um, that just gives you that, that extra bit of excitement. But I think obviously would have loved to win the final, but um, I think for us to to play in a final with a, a sellout crowd, um, it was it was amazing. No, I hope the the IPL and the hundred and the Big Bash was watching. Um, that was something very special. Um, you know, I think you, you want your players to step up at the big occasions and I think that's exactly what she did. She's shown a class again today. I think it's just the age of 23, I'm not sure, but still very young. So um, I think for her and for, and for us as a team, it's, it's very exciting to, to know that she's going to be here for the next 10 years. Um, and so excited to be next to her and, and see her break all the records um, in the near future. Yeah, I think obviously the, the IPL is next um, and that's going to be massive for women's cricket as well. Um, and then I'm hoping it grows from there and hopefully, you know, with the SA20 on the men's side, we hopefully get a SA20 for women's as well. And I think that would really, really help South African cricket, um, South African women's cricket especially, just to get that the depth that we keep talking about. And I think if you look at all those leagues in the countries, it's in the top three nations um, and that's why they're so good and that's why they have that depth because they have leagues where I think, you know, overseas players come and play and, and you get used to playing with them and against them and and when a youngster like Henri Dirksen comes up to the stage it's not she's not looking at Elise Perry going wow it's you know playing against her for this first time Elise might have played with her in a team or something like that if that makes sense so I think that's something we really need to look at um, I think we've been asking for a very long time for SA League I know it's budget constraints and there's always resources and all those things but I think like I said we've given our our girls the best the best chance we could have um, and it's up to CSA and everyone involved to to kind of make that happen and, and give the give it our best shot yeah I think when you look at the performance we've had against you know all three teams um, we didn't play well I guess we played India in the tri-series final but I think we're knocking on doors I was so so close to do the best in the world. Um, I think we've knocked over India, we've knocked over England um, in high pressure situations. Unfortunately, we couldn't do it today, but I think we're so, so close. Um, we have so talented people in our team, and I think, you know, with the right resources and the right structures, um, we can just, you know, get them to the next level. Um, so I'm really excited for the next months to come and what's going to happen, um, and just for the players' growth. I think it's going to be exponential. and. I think this team is just going to grow from strength to strength. Um, I think, like you guys said, we've set the benchmark here today and we're not going to, I think, settle for anything less in the future. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. That wraps us up for our post-match uh, press conference. Thank you.